Hey everybody, you're doing well. I am standing here right below the lock and dam. See on the left. Hope you all are doing well. Um, I'm, I'm going live really quickly because I wanted to give you an ongoing uh, fish kill update. Uh, so over the last 10 days approximately, we have been receiving fish kill reports and collecting uh, evidence of those fish kills. And so as we're going into the holiday um, weekend, I wanted to make sure to give you a good update of what we have found thus far. Uh, number one, we have received about 70 reports um, from fishermen throughout the basin and um, that uh, of, of either fish dying or fish that have, have died. We, um, we've collected a number of those, so thank you for everybody who has participated in that. Um, we have made that map available and have been working with agencies on uh, both sides of the river, South Carolina and Georgia DNR, to try and assess what's been um, killing these fish and, uh, and why. So uh, what I can tell you so far is that we now have reports primarily in the Augusta area, but they're stretching all the way down to, to now Clio, which is about 100 miles uh, downstream from here, a little bit over that. Um, so it, it does seem to be broader than just the Augusta area. Um, we're getting reports from, from both sides. Please continue to send those in if you have not. Um, but one of the things that we're seeing on all of these fish is uh, big red sores. So a lot of the ones that are dying have these sores on them. Um, those sores have been analyzed by Auburn University. Georgia DNR collected some, um, sent them to Auburn to be analyzed. And uh, that's why I really wanted to, to talk to you guys today. So one of the things that we have identified thus far, or Georgia DNR has identified, um, is a bacteria that is on these fish. It's, um, uh, I'll put it in the comments, the name of it, because I don't want to say it wrong. But the problem is that this is a uh, this is a bacteria that can affect humans as well um, and can cause some some decent sores. So um, we have also learned of a couple of places um, in Georgia that have had a, a similar um, infection on humans. So currently, as you go into the Fourth of July, what I would like for you to uh, to know from us. Um, and as your river keeper and also as a mother is that uh, over the next little bit, um, I would suggest one, if you have open sores, um, please don't get into the river system. Um, I think that could be, uh, I have, a, I have a, a cut on the bottom of my foot and I'm not gonna get in the river this weekend. Um, the other is if you are getting in, please make sure that you wash yourself when you're getting off. And then the number one question actually we're receiving is, if I catch fish with sores on them, can I still eat them? I'm be honest with you, you do you. Um, DNR says cook them well enough, you can still eat them. Um, I'm gonna tell you that uh, I, I'm not gonna eat them. Um, but one thing is for certain is if you do collect these fish, one we would love to know, or call South Carolina, Georgia DNR, tell them to. Uh, we are sharing all of that data with them. Um, but don't put them back into the water, please. Um, the, this is a bacteria that's able to spread. Um, so the, those fish should come off and, and not go back in. So um, quick update again, just, just a repeat. Uh, about 10 days now, we are still receiving regular reports of about 20 fish or so a day that are being found um, throughout, mainly the Augusta area, but stretching all the way down uh, closer to Savannah now. Um, they are a wide variety. I just saw a huge fish jump. That's pretty cool. I'm below the lock and dam. Anyways, um, we have seen a wide variety of fish that are, um, that are succumbing to a bacterial infection. Um, that a bacterial infection is one um, that can transfer to humans. So please, uh, at least for the next little bit, if you have open sores, um, I would suggest you do not go into the river um, to if you uh, are planning on going into the river, please wash yourself afterwards. That would include, include the lake. Um, I think these are kind of common, common sense things, right? And then the third is if you do catch fish that have sores on them, uh, Georgia DNR says cook them hot enough, you're fine to eat them. I'm gonna tell you, 
I wouldn't eat them. So um, that's kind of our update right now. Uh, we are continuing to try and figure out one, is this bacteria strong enough that it is actually the thing killing the fish or is there something else that's stressing those fish that's making them weak so that they are succumbing to the disease? I think those are two pretty important things to understand. Um, and I don't think the fish have Rona, <laughs> but the advice is similar to Rona, wear a mask, eat the fish, whichever. <laughs> um, but uh, we will continue to work. Uh, I also want to say that um, really Riverkeeper in this, in this instance is all, all we're doing is collecting data and sharing it with people, um, including the, the agencies, the uh, local medical community, um, and lots of really amazing scientists have come together to try and figure out what's going on. So a huge kudos to the, the combo effort that's going on that is uh, making this, I think, hopefully a successful event. So uh, please let us know if you're catching fish um, and you find sores on them or if you see dead fish. We have a form on our website. Report it, savannariverkeeper.org. Um, and recommendations, just be careful on the water uh, this July 4th. Other than that, I hope you enjoy the outdoors. Have a great time. It's gorgeous out there. It's gorgeous today, and it's going to be a, a great weekend, if not a hot one. So uh, y'all be good.